Hello. In this series, you will learn about ingress protection testing, also known as IP code testing. Having an IPX5 level of protection allows a manufacturer to comfortably sell the product knowing that minimal liquid exposure will not cause issues with the device. There are 10 IP ratings for the protection of liquids. These ratings can range from zero, which is no protection, to nine. The tests generally increase in difficulty the higher the number. IPX5 evaluates the protection of an enclosure from jets of water. Similar to other ingress protection standards, the objective is to determine the ability of an enclosure to repel water and moisture. In this case, jets of water are sprayed from every direction. IPX5 testing requires the water to be projected by a nozzle that is 6.3 millimeters in internal diameter. The distance from the nozzle to the enclosure surface is between 2.5 and 3 meters. The test duration is one minute per square meter of the enclosure's surface area. IPX5 has a minimum test duration of at least three minutes. For this test, the water pressure is adjusted to provide 12.5 liters per minute. This pressure should remain constant throughout the test. After testing, the unit is checked for correct function and water ingress. Key points include, water must not impact operation or safety. Water shouldn't deposit on insulation or reach live parts. For units with drain holes, water should drain without damage. For units without drains, specified standards will determine water tolerance. Any water ingress is reported to the manufacturer for a pass-fail evaluation. Generally, only one unit is tested unless opening or resealing is not possible. Additional testing may be done as needed or required by the manufacturer. Thank you so much for watching. For more information on IP code testing, please follow the corresponding links in the description of this video.